My name is Linus. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, <laughs> network topology maps and stuff. We had uh, three talks already. Uh, Takeshi, Federico, and Pascal all showed us uh, very nice, I think, automatic generation. I have a little bit uh, different take, uh, so I hope you, I won't bore you too much. My name is Linus, um, Sabix user since 15 years back. Uh, I love automation, and that's one reason why I really like uh, to work with Zabbix, because it gives you a lot of power. I'm the CTO of Eros Group, as mentioned, and we are a retailer in Sweden. Uh, we sell also in Finland and Norway and some other uh, European countries. But uh, let's talk about Zabbix instead. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate a little tool I built uh, to, um, well, explore your network. This is uh, available on uh, GitLab, open source. Uh, you shouldn't take the code as an example of how you write code. It's a work in progress, um, but it's usable. So why did I make this? Uh, partly because I want to uh, gain insights into our network and be able to explore it. I want to be able to get an overview of active triggers in the network and see if they are related to different parts of it. Uh, find unmonitored hosts, uh, visualize connections uh, out, of the, out, out of our network externally, and also between different network segments. Uh, since this is using uh, Zabbix, of course, we have the full power of Zabbix triggers and uh, graphs, etc., to, uh, to use as well. And why did I do this in Zabbix? Uh, well, I wanted to keep the number of tools down and have an easy deployment. And uh, since Sabix was in place, it was easy. Uh, this all works uh, by using a user param and a, and a script to gather information about the network. And um, previous uh, speakers of, of network technology here, they used SNMP or manual link creation. Uh, my take is to instead uh, query the operating system to see where is it having active connections, um, like netstat, um, so to speak. This user param uh, generates a JSON, which is fed into Zabbix low-level discovery, and then using Zabbix API and a custom application, uh, we get a map. And I'm hoping I can demo that if we get a screen. We got a screen. Uh, so this is what it looks like um, in all its glory. The little dots here are hosts. Some of these are hosts in Zabbix, and those are the ones I query with the user param. Some of them are not in Zabbix, but they are um, having traffic to the hosts in Zabbix. We can, um, it's a work in progress, but I'm trying to group the hosts by network. So you can see here that there are different segments of hosts, even though coloring might be a little bit uh, hard on the big screen. We see, of course, the lines between the hosts uh, is traffic of different sort. We can see here that this, um, HTTPS here, and uh, well, there was a lot of HTTPS. Uh, the colors indicate if there are problems. We can click on a host, and Zabbix is queried and shows what active triggers do we have. We can also see incoming and outgoing connections from this host. We can, of course, uh, click here to open up Zabbix and uh, explore more in Zabbix. We can choose to show only maybe SSH traffic. You can see what hosts are communicating with, with SSH. Um, maybe more interesting and where it has been a little bit useful for me is to find hosts that are still communicating with unencrypted uh, HTTP. Uh, still a little bit too much, but uh, uh, at least now I get a visual view of this and uh, can get people to work on removing this unencrypted traffic. 
we can select maybe two network segments and see what traffic do we have between those. Uh, we can search for hosts. Here we have a... Can't even see myself now. Um, here we have a NDNX load balancer. You can see how the traffic is coming from that one. Um, oh yeah, okay, it was only HTTP traffic. I thought it was a little, very little traffic. Let's look at the HTTPS instead. And it's a little more. Well, um, other useful things uh, that I've used it for is, for example, we are migrating our HA proxy to Nginx. So here I can see what traffic is still running on the HA proxy. Um, and since this is all using Zabbix, uh, we get items uh, in Zabbix and they look like this. So here we get items generated by low-level discovery for incoming connections, for outgoing connections, and also for open ports. Uh, so you can make triggers on if ports are open that shouldn't be open, if there are connections that shouldn't be there, and so on. And of course you can also Look at the history of this. A very exciting graph indeed. There is also a 3D mode, um, which is maybe more um, fun to look at than useful, but at least it's there. And, um, well, after uh, Takeshi's uh, uh, demo, I got some ideas how to make this better, uh, so maybe it can actually be useful in the future. That was pretty much it for me. Thank you for listening. <laughs>